Hi friends, this is Dave of javacodejunkie.com and welcome back to another MariaDB tutorial. In this video, we're going to look at the MariaDB SQL update statement. The update statement updates columns of existing rows in the named table with new values. The set clause indicates which columns to modify and the values they should be given. Each value can be given as an expression or the keyword default to set a column explicitly to its default value if one has been specified when the table column was created. The WHERE clause, if it is given, specifies the conditions that identify which rows to update. With no WHERE clause, all rows in the table are updated. If the ORDER BY clause is specified, the rows are updated in the order that is specified, and the LIMIT clause places a limit on the number of rows that can be updated. Let's look at some examples. If you've been following along with our previous MariaDB tutorials, you'll know that we have an employees table that has about 42 records in it. Let's look at the current records that are in the employees table. Select star from employees. Semicolon, enter, and there we have the 42 records that are currently in the employees table. When you're updating records in a table, you're either updating a single record, a group of records, or all records in the table. We're going to start with updating a single specific record. Let's look at the first record in the table. First name Christine, last name Haas. Let's say that Christine recently got married and changed her name from Haas to Nielsen. What we want to do then is to update her employee record in the employees table. So we're going to create an update statement. So we'll say update employees. And again, we're going to do this on multiple lines. We could do it on an individual line. It sometimes makes it more readable to do it on multiple lines. So update employees. Set last name equals Nielsen, and since we're specifying a single record, we have to specify in the WHERE clause something that makes this particular record or row in the table unique. So we're going to say WHERE, and we could do it in one of two ways. We have two unique ID columns in this table. We have the ID and we have the employee ID. They're both guaranteed to be unique. The ID is the primary key, which is an auto-incrementing key, and the employee ID is a unique key. So we could say where ID equals 1 or where employee ID equals 35347. Either one would work. So I'm going to say where employee ID equals 35347. semicolon, and enter. We have one row changed. Now let's do a select to verify that the change has actually taken place. And you see that Christine's last name has now been changed to Nielsen. Next we're going to look at updating a group of records. The first We'll take a look at the records that are in our departments table. So we currently have six records in the departments table. What I'm going to do in this update is create a new department and then transfer everyone that's in a specific department in our employees table into that new department. So we're going to first do an insert into departments. We don't have to specify the ID because it's an auto increment field. So once we enter a new record into the departments table, the ID will be provided for us by MariaDB. Values. Let's call the new department Finance. Semicolon. Enter. 
and now we'll just select so we have added our new department number seven as provided by Maria DB and what I'm going to do is we're going to type an update statement that's going to allow us to transfer everyone from human resources into the finance department so it's update employees set department ID equal to the new department which is seven where department ID is one so wherever we currently find a department ID that is one or human resources we're going to replace that with the department ID of seven semicolon and enter let's verify our change and you'll see that everyone that previously had an ID for their department of one now has a department ID of seven. The third category of update is one where you would change every record in a table. That, that is extremely rare. In fact, off the top of my head, I can't think of a use for that. Say we wanted to have the employee IDs all start with the number five and be six digits in length. Currently, we have them, they're all five digits, and they go from 30,000 to 60 odd thousand. So what we would do is, since this is an integer, we're going to add, to make it a six digit number starting with five, we're going to add 500,000 to each employee ID. So let's give that a shot. Update employee set employee ID. equal to employee ID plus 500,000. We have 42 rows affected and matched and 42 that were changed. And let's again just do our select to verify the changes. And you can see that the employee IDs now begin with the number five and they're all six digits in length. So that's kind of an artificial change to the table, but you get the idea that because we didn't specify in anything in the where clause to restrict the number of records that are applicable in the table, the change applied to every record. In this video tutorial, we learned about the MariaDB SQL update statement. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to learn more about MariaDB, click the subscribe button and bell icon to be notified when I release new tutorials. Thanks for hanging out with me today, and I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, stay safe and keep on coding.